Her incredible underdog run at Wimbledon is over, but it could be just the beginning for Coco Goff. She is the youngest player ever to qualify for Wimbledon. The 15-year-old phenom lit up the tennis world with her play and poise, winning fans on That's both sides there. of the Atlantic, from Michelle Obama to Ginger Spice, Jerry Hollowell. That is quite a broad range. Joining us now is Coco Goff. Coco, thank you very much for being with us this morning. Congratulations on all all of it. I know that so much happened over the last week, but was there a best moment for you? Um, yeah, definitely the best moment for me was winning the match against Venus. I mean, you always dream of, of something, and then when it actually happens, you kind of don't believe it. Were you surprised? Um, yes, <laughs> uh, I was surprised that I even got to play her and then definitely surprised when I won the match. Um, I want to play you some sound of what Venus's sister Serena has said about you. Listen to this. I think there's some 15 year olds like me who wouldn't know what to do at Wimbledon. And then you have a 15 year old like Coco who knows what to do. I think she's a definitely on a different level. A different level. Serena Williams wow. says you are wow. at a different level. Well, how does that make you feel? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that, that's really surprising and shocking. I mean, when your idol says something, any, even though that you exist, that's pretty crazy. And see, um, Serena's so nice. I met her a couple times and both of the Williams sisters have been very sweet to me and my family. What do you think she means, different level? Um, honestly, I don't know. I guess maybe she means when she was 15, we weren't quite the same, but honestly, I, I really don't know. But um, Serena is at the highest level. She's always at the top of her game. So from her saying that I'm at a different level is really surreal. Are you pulling for Serena uh, to win Wimbledon this time now that you're out? Yes. Yes, of course. Um, if it's not going to be me, I definitely 100% want it to be her. So what has it been like for you over the last week and a half? You went from someone who, who may not have been well known outside the tennis world to now all of a sudden, a lot of people know who you are. What's that like? Man, it's been really crazy. I mean, I'm getting recognized in restaurants and on the street and I, I never thought this would happen. I mean, I kind of dreamed of always playing Wimbledon and all the Grand Slams, but I never dreamed of people actually recognizing me and uh, across the world, it's just been crazy how much support I've been getting. Um, I asked on Twitter uh, if people would have any questions for you, and we got a lot back. One of them was recognizing the fact that you're just 15 years old, and one of our viewers asked, <laughs> what teenage thing do you miss the most or think you miss the most because you're spending so much time playing tennis? Um, honestly, my whole life has been kind of crazy and surrounded by tennis, so I wouldn't say I miss too much, but when I'm on the road, I definitely miss my brothers the most. I mean, uh, they, I love them so much and they're always supporting me and they have, they're playing their own sports, so sometimes I wish they could come with me on, on um, to come with me to tournaments, but they're doing their own thing as well, so I kind of like to support them as much as possible in that as well. So I have a couple of 12-year-olds. My co-anchor's got some teenagers as well. Do you have any advice for our kids? <laughs> um, honestly, the biggest piece of advice I have is just to always dream big and don't let anyone limit your dreams um, because the possibilities are endless. And um, if you want to do it, you, if, you, if you can think it, then you can do it. If you can dream it, then you can do it. So honestly, just keep working hard. And if um, it won't come easy, and I know it'll seem like impossible, but if you keep working hard, it'll definitely happen. It's good advice, although I will say this. I've thought a lot about my second serve going in, and it never does. Um, <laughs> I want to read you some tweets. Are you working <laughs> hard? <laughs> I'm apparently not hard enough. I mean, if, if you come to New York and play the U.S. Open, maybe you can help me out, because at 47 years, I get one out of three of them in, yeah. and it's disheartening. Um, some people have been commenting <laughs> about you on Twitter. Magic Johnson says congratulations to 15-year-old Coco yes. Goff for winning another match to advance in Wimbledon. Absolutely amazing. Michelle Obama, the former first lady of the United States, wow. wrote, Coco is terrific. Jaden Smith writes, shout out, Coco Goff, you're the one. What's that like? Yeah, it's been crazy. It's been crazy how much people have noticed me. I mean, I never ever in my wildest dreams would ever think that the former first lady would tweet me. Neither Jaden, like Magic Johnson, 
Joel and B. Like it's the, I can keep naming the celebrities that would be here all all day. So it's just crazy how much support I've gotten. And honestly, I hope I get to meet each and every one of them one which, day. Which one's your favorite though? What's your favorite tweet? Um, definitely. Um, well, the favorite, my favorite person that tweeted me was for sure um, Mich Miss Michelle Obama. And then the favorite tweet, um, like what they said was when Joel Embiid said, uh, watching Coco Golf is low-key watching a game seven. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, you are one part of a mm -hmm. sports phenomenon happening around the world over the last few days. The other thing that's happened is the U.S. World Cup team just won. Uh, in this yes. group of women has mm -hmm. fought for more than just success on the field. They're fighting for equal pay. Have you had a chance to see them play or yes. listen to what they're saying? Yes. Um, I Unfortunately, um, in their final game, I didn't see the whole game because I was practicing the same time as them, but I saw the last couple minutes, and I was so happy for them. I mean, those ladies have really fought their way, and I hope that um, one day they can achieve equal play because as playing tennis, I think... Uh, the, especially on the women's side, we're very lucky or very deserving of equal pay and we get to be paid the same as the men. And I believe that it should be like that for every sport, not just tennis. So I hope that one day they, they can definitely achieve that and they absolutely deserve it. And you're, you're, I think you'll be part of that fight going forward as well. Is there any part of your game or yes. what part of your game do you think needs the most improvement? Mm -hmm. Um, the part I think would need the most improvement, just my confidence, um, stepping in on the court, especially on my forehand side. Um, but other than that, I think all my game needs improvement because um, I still miss shots. Um, nobody's perfect, so I'll always need to improve no matter how many uh, tournaments I win. But definitely right now I'm going to improve on my confidence on stepping in on the court now that I know how the ball feels from the different players I play. I can't speak to your forehand, but I think your confidence is pretty good right now, and I think you're doing a, an awfully <laughs> good job at all of it. Let me just say, what, what are your goals for the U.S. Open? I know you hope to be here uh, in New York for the U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. What's your goal there? Yeah. Um, my goal, obviously, is just to win the tournament. Um, hopefully, I can, um, I now with my ranking, I can for sure get in qualifying. So uh, maybe if I can build my ranking up, I can get into main draw, but um, definitely for sure excited to play U.S. Open. It'll be my first, main, uh, second main draw Grand Slam and my first main draw U.S. Open. So U.S. Open is kind of a special place to me because I've been going there and watching the tournament since I was eight years old. So that definitely will be a special moment for me when I get to play. I think it'll be a special moment for all Americans and tennis fans. You're going to have more than a few people watching you uh, here in New York. Coco Goff, congratulations <laughs> on everything. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being with us and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. That was so terrific. I admire her so much. And I love her advice to our kids. Just dream big. Stop squashing their dreams, John. I'm not trying. I'm trying <laughs> to make them believe they can do anything. And people like Coco Golf make it possible. But I have to say, just the, the, the poise and the confidence, um, not just to play tennis. I mean, she's worked so hard at that, but also everything that's come with it. People all of a sudden start asking you a ton of questions. And she has great thoughtful answers. They also said that her tennis style shows her confidence, mm -hmm. that she did things that other tennis players wouldn't have done at that moment. It's not just a, it's not a power game necessarily, it's the overall game. She knows how to play the game. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I'm so glad we got to talk to her and her mom last I week. I think we're going to get a chance to see her again in the future. I have a hunch.